Hi, I'm Sonia, a respiratory physiotherapist. I'm going to show you how to use your force biro inhaler. This is a dry powder device or a DPI. Getting inhaler technique right is very important because it helps you manage your symptoms better. It may take a few tries to feel comfortable using your inhaler, but it does get easier with practice. When you use force biro inhaler for the first time, you'll see a number on the foil strip in the window at the top of showing you that the inhaler is full. As you use the inhaler, the foil strip will move along. Your first few blisters in the see-through side chamber have black bars on them. These don't have any medicines in them. Make sure there are never more than three foil blisters in the side chamber, as this may cause the inhaler to jam. To tear them off, open the see-through flap on the side and use the serrated edge. To use your inhaler, first, open the cap Check the number on the foil strip in the window at the top to make sure the inhaler isn't empty. This is your dose counter. Lift up the white lever as far as it goes so you hear a click. Then close the white lever until you hear another click. Your dose is now ready. Hold the inhaler horizontally with the cap facing downwards and the mouthpiece towards you. But don't tip it upside down as the powder may fall out. Sit or stand up straight and slightly tilt your chin up as this helps the medicine reach your lungs. The next steps all happen smoothly in one action. Breathe out gently and slowly, away from the inhaler until your lungs feel empty and you feel ready to breathe in. Put your lips around your mouthpiece to make a tight seal, making sure you're not blocking the two holes on either side. Then breathe in quickly and deeply. Take the inhaler out of your mouth and hold your breath for up to 10 seconds or for as long as you comfortably can. Then breathe out gently away from your inhaler. When you've finished, replace the cap. If you've used an inhaler that contains steroids, rinse your mouth with water and spit it out to reduce any chance of side effects. For more tips on using your inhaler, why not watch our other videos?